for problem number seven of unit five, lesson four. I'm going to start by identifying the rational roots of 144. And I recognize there is a lot of numbers, so I'm not going to list them all, but it'd be one, two, and I could take 144 and divide it here. 144 and divided by three. I move this down, we can see, okay, three works. I should try that. I can, I can see four works, we're going to see five does not work, right? So I want to try plus or minus one, plus or minus two, plus or minus three, plus or minus four. Five doesn't work. And I'll continue to look at them. The leading coefficient is a one. So I, I again, I will continue to add to this list if necessary. So I'm going to set this up and I'm going to use a pencil then so that I don't have to re uh, con create this. So the highest exponent is four, three, two, one, and zero. And um, I'm going to start by testing a 1. So let's figure out what are the leading coefficients. Sorry, what is the coefficient of each of these positions? So x to the fourth has a coefficient of 1, coefficient of 0, negative 25, of 0, and of 144. Now I'm going to test 1. So I bring down the first number, and I drop it down. I multiply and I add, multiply and add multiply and add, multiply and add. This is not zero. I want to know what value or values up before here would make this polynomial equation equal to zero and one is not one of them. I'm going to erase it and now I'm trying negative one. So bringing down the first number and multiplying to get negative one, adding down, multiplying, adding down, multiplying, adding down, multiplying, adding down, and again it does not work. Now I'm going to try 2, and then I'll try negative 2 if 2 doesn't work. Okay, I'm going to multiply to get 2, add down, multiply, add down, multiply, add down, multiply, and add down. I'll try negative 2. Multiply, add down, multiply, add down, multiply, add down, multiply. Uh, sorry, e multiply and add down. Again, it's not working. We're on to moving on to positive three. So drop down and multiply, add down, and multiply, add down, and multiply, add down. I'm gonna grab the calculator. Okay, so 48 times three is 144 and it is negative. And I finally have found a solution because I found a number that when I substitute in I get a final answer or an output of zero. So of these four solutions, I know one of them is x equals 3. So x equals 3 is one of the solutions. Now, how can I find the other solutions? So I'm going to set up this equation. So I have negative 48, negative 16, 3, and 1. And I'm going to, this is the constant, no x, 1x, 2x, and 3x. All right. Now, when possible, I always check to see, can I go ahead and solve this by using factoring by grouping. It looks like it's going to work. I can factor on x squared to get 1x plus 3, 1x plus 3, and then if I distribute a negative 16, distribute a negative 16, it works. So in the front and back, we have 1x plus 3, and the front half is x squared, and the back half is a negative 16. Set each one of these quantities equal to 0 and solve. 1x plus 3 set equal to 0. I subtract 3 to the opposite side, divide by 1, and of these four solutions, another solution is negative 3. Then I'm going to take over here x squared minus 16 and set equal to 0, add 16 to the opposite side. Remember, this means I'm going to have two answers, so x equals both positive 4 and negative 4. So my four solutions to this polynomial equation would be 3, negative 3, 4, and negative 